I convinced my friend Monty to make a YouTube video. He's doing this as a huge favor for me, and he probably hates me a little bit, but that's okay. Say hi. Hi, how you doing? This is his first YouTube video. With you. With me. We're doing a collab. Collab? How do you say that word? I don't know what it's called. I've never done a collaboration. I think I say it's stupid. Collab? Collaboration. Collaboration. We're doing a collaboration to show... Stop staring at me. That's well, listening You're supposed said. to be staring over there. Hi. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> See, my podcast, I'm face-to-face -face with the people I talk with versus we're staring to camera. It doesn't matter because everyone loves us. Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. So he does a podcast. He's going to tell you all about it right now because I don't remember the details. How do you not... Okay, weekend water cooler. It's um, just four guys shooting the shit. Well, stuff you talk about on a water cooler. What's this... Uh, I got bored. All right, we'll go back to talking about whatever you were going to talk about, because I think I'm useless in this category. You're not useless. Okay. We get each other. We're best friends. We're going to get lots of views. You're going to get more subscribers to your thing. No, I'm no. going to get... Yes. No. Yes. No. Anyways. He's so pessimistic. Depends Anyways. Depends on the day. What? Depends on the day. Well, stop being pessimistic. Okay. 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 Because what we did was... Last weekend? Weekend before. Weekend before. I hate clothes shopping. I f fucking hate it. This is probably bad language, but I'm just going to go with it. I hate clothes shopping. So we went out having dinner and drinks. We call it... What do we call it? Stumble fumbles? Stumble... What? Oh, God. What do we call it? It was brilliant. Oh, Monty Stumbles? No. was not Monty Stumbles? Ah. Oh, God. God Stumble doesn't... fumbles? No. Didn't anyway, fumbles? Something about a stumble. Yeah, it was, it was a something... weekly stumble for us, but either It was way, not a weekly. It was. You met with me every Friday night. Not every Friday night. Every other Friday night, and we'd go out and get bombed at the bars, and then stumble back to my place, yes. where decidedly we'd all pass out. Stumbles and... And I'd wake you up off the couch. I don't remember what it was, but it was stumbles and something. It was really brilliant. Sushi and stumbles. Yes! It was sushi and stumbles. We used to get sushi, we'd have a couple of drinks, and we'd stumble home because, you know, we're smart, we don't drink and drive, don't drink and drive, blah, blah, blah. And it was so much fun, so we still do that, kind of, but we're, like, better now because we have to work and stuff, you know, like, whatever. But anyway, so we did that two weeks ago, and... Except I wasn't stumbling. Well, yeah, because he was. had to drive home. But I was, and I hate clothes shopping. So I was, like, drunk, and I was like, hey, let's go clothes shopping. And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah, really? So we went to, like, Goodwill, which... You love? I kind of do. It's, like, so cheap, and it's, like, the thrill of the hunt. See, that's why I like the Buffalo Exchange next door. The, oh. That's also a secondhand clothing store. Their stuff is just... It's bit, more expensive. It though. is more expensive, but their stuff has been cleaned better. I and clean my stuff pretty I darn well. I understand you clean your stuff very well, but their stuff gets professionally cleaned. It's 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 a higher quality of stuff. You're still getting a great deal on whatever you buy there. I guess, but yeah. anyways. I got a nice hat from there once, and I went to go get some cowboy boots, but they were gone. By the this back. is what he does to me. He just like goes off on tangents, and I'm just gonna. It's the ADHD. <laughs> Everybody blames me. So, I got pretty like drunk or she wasn't tipsy. That drunk. And so we went clothes shopping at Goodwill, and I hate clothes shopping. I cannot stand it. I get really frustrated. And within five minutes of clothes shopping, I'm like, I'm fat. I have boobs. Nothing fits me. I hate myself. I hate life. I hate clothes, and I'm done. But this time, I was drunk, so it was like an adventure for me, and I actually ended up getting clothes, thanks to his help, because he's really good at clothes shopping. But he's, he's, he's straight, just so you know. He's married. Sorry, ladies. He's straight. And take it. I'm just clarifying. Okay. Go through your stuff. Okay. I am good at clothes shopping. You are. He's really I am good. I am in touch with my feminine side. Just because He's I have a beard and I wear boots like every day. Yeah. And a cowboy hat sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's too hot to wear a cowboy hat today. I know. You took it off and then I had to cradle it in my lap for the whole ride. And it's I was like, I don't know what well, to do with this. Well, that's because that's where it goes when you're not in the passenger seat of that car. Yeah. Cowboy hat goes on my passenger seat or on my dashboard, but my dashboard is too high on this particular car. You might get attacked by a cat. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, Reaper. He's eyeing you. My cat's gay. 
and he loves Monty. He's not gay. He just loves Monty. No, he's super. I mean, I love he him. He's a great kid. He's totally gay, though. Anyway, so we went to Goodwill, and I actually ended up getting some clothes. And I was really excited, so I figured we'd do this collab video and show the clothes we got. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see this. We got. He actually picked this out for me, but unfortunately, my boobs are too big and it didn't fit. So I'm just going to donate it. But it's really cute. It's a good fall dress. Yes. With like. I don't believe I just said that. But. <laughs> So it's like a black sweater dress, I guess you would call this. Yeah. With like a how do you call the a cowl neck? Is that what? I don't know. It's got this almost turtlenecky thing you usually yeah, see this on. Yeah, it's like a cowl on, neck. Um, Fancy lawyer shows. No, those shawl things that chicks wear sometimes. You know oh, what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, you're getting. Oh. oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hi. <laughs> this is my pal, right? And uh, he loves me. He you're so gay, me. but it's okay. He loves me. He loves my shoes. Yes. Show everyone on YouTube how cute you are. Don't bite me, please. Hi, I'm so cute. He doesn't like that, I can tell already. I know, but he won't bite me yet. Anyways, we're apparently doing this video with the cat on his lap. Yeah, he's done. And we're done. Anyway, so it's like this sweater dress thing. Oh, look, it's just a dark black screen. All right, like this. You it's got, it's got an, on an Irish knit pattern to it. And it's got the elongated Everybody, neck thing. Oh, yeah, you're right. You it's like cable that's knit. It's an Irish knit pattern. Yeah, and yeah. it's got the straight lines on the edges. And it would look good with a pair of, like, white tights or something. Yes. But unfortunately, my boobs are too big. And it looks like... Oh, I know. You're loving my leg. Uh, no, I'm not. He is. Okay, let's He's clarify that. He's licking my for leg the... and, like, snuggling it. Yeah. Let's clarify that for the video. So, it's really cute, but I don't fit into it. So, I'm just going to donate it again. That was disappointing, but then I found this really cute skirt. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm going to, I promise. I'm going to dress like an adult someday. You wear that with a black top. Yes. Yeah, good to go, I think. And it's H&M, which is kind of an expensive skirt. brand, right? Yeah. No, it's not. H&M actually get a really good deal at, oh. and they got some crazy clothes there. So you get to say, you want something unique or whatnot, go to H&M. Well, it's really cute. It's like geometric. And if I, honestly, if I don't like guys staring at my boobs, what I've found out is I wear a pattern on the bottom of my body with a solid color top, and they look at my butt more than my boobs, which is much more comfortable. Anyways. Um, you're chewing on my foot, Reap. What's up? I'm not chewing on your foot, the cat I said Reap. I know. Reapy. So, it's really cute. Hi, you want me to give you snuggles here? Here you go. I'm here. Just keep talking, Katie. It's you really don't want this video to go like 20 minutes because people get bored and turn it off. It's at like 8 minutes. I know, Calm that's going to be quick. All right. Well, if you would stop making love to my cat. It's cute. It's got like little ruffles. I'm going to wear it because it's summer and it's hot. Mm -hmm. Next thing I got is, he actually picked this out for me because I <coughs> live in like sweatpants. And it's Champions. It's like a Capri sweatpants. It's just gray. It's summertime out, she'll have a good yeah. time. I dress like a bum, basically, so I will wear these, like, all the time. And then I got this shirt that I don't really like the, how do you call those? Studs. Studs. I don't like the studs because it's too, like, rebel. Why do I know these terms? I don't know, all I'm right, not, I'm not don't. a very, I'm not good at being a girl. But anyways, it's... But apparently I am. I know, but you're straight, so it's a conundrum. You can be straight and still be... Like cross dresser and stuff. It's actually common. Especially with people of power. You're confusing my mind. You've no. never heard that? Like CEOs and shit? Like cross dressers? No, and stuff. no, I get that. I mean cross dressing in general. Let's save that for another video. Yeah, okay. So this is H&M. Oh no, it's not. It's Forever 21 and it's plus size. I'm not really a plus size, but I thought this would look really good with leggings. And you need, like, big shirts to wear with leggings so your butt isn't, like, all out in the world and people are fainting behind you and stuff. Funny story. Oh, my God. Chick walking down the street the other night on the yeah. way home with her uh, boyfriend. I was running into Walgreens to grab some. Walgreens. Yeah, Walgreens to grab some. And she walks down. Swear to God, her leggings were so tight on her ass. Yeah. You could see her name. Uh, her tattoo of her um, boyfriend's name, I should say. Well, at least it was her and boyfriend's name. I, like, it was a boy's name. Who knows if it was oh. her boyfriend, you know Well, what I mean? then. And she had a tattoo of a rose on her ass as well. <laughs> and from the front, 
you don't want to know what you could see. She obviously fupa! Wasn't, not fupa, but you could see... Things. Everything. Oh and she obviously God. wasn't wearing panties. Oh, my God. Anyways, it's a cute shirt. I thought it would look really good with, like, these leggings I have with, like, zippers, but it didn't really work out. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these studs out. Like, I'm just going to make this, like, frayed and I don't know. We're going to figure that out. The advantage of buying the secondhand stuff, though, because it's cheaper, you don't feel bad about screwing with it and possibly wrecking it. Seriously. And then, this is the last thing I bought. And well, these, she already has a pair of these. I, I do, but they have a hole in them, but I love them so much I can't give them up. So, when I saw these, I was like, oh, I'll have a second pair now. They're the Life is Good Pajama Bottoms. These are so flipping comfortable. These things are so expensive. Life is Good is like $35. Not a clue. I don't show up there. But it's like $65 for a sweatshirt. It's cray. That is pretty insane. Yeah. But See, like, I, I'm easy. Where Being a dude... I get to go to places like I go to Sears for most of my clothes. I went to Sears and for I my buy stuff when it's on sale. Where else do I go? Um, occasionally Old Navy because they have sales I and like things, Old and Navy. they have their bootcut jeans for me, which is weird because I'm not a small man. I bought my senior prom dress at Sears. Yeah, that's fine. And it was on sale because one of the straps was broken, but it was a gorgeous dress. Yeah, but it's a fixable thing, so you get a good deal. But I got these jams. They're really comfy. I wore them last night. Funny story. So me and him. We're, like, trying to figure out... They have these little taggy, like, ninth circle of hell, what the fuck is in my pants, taggies. Those that, tags, they usually attach prices to. Right. See the whole thing now, guys? It looks like uh, that thing from Mario Brothers. Yeah. What thing? Anytime you fight Bowser, there's, like, this little axe thing sitting on the end. It's actually supposed to be a switch or a key, and you jump on it, and the bridge goes away. Oh. It looks just like okay. that. Except, we were, like, gray. We were trying to figure them out because we're all different colors, and we're like, oh, that must be, like, the price. Like, this one's five, the red one's five, blah, blah, blah. And we get to, like, the register, and we ask the guy who was, like, fabulously gay. Totally gay, right? I have no idea. Oh, he's totally gay. You don't think he was gay? Me, hit or miss. I think he was gay. Anyways, and he, I you thought it was... can't directly tell if somebody's gay by the man you're Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. So, we were like, oh, like, what did the tags mean? Thinking it was, like, this really brilliant system they had made up. And he's like, oh, that just means that's, that's how long it's been in the store. And we were like, oh. Yeah, so they must change out those tags every few weeks. But that's even TLB. more work. It is, but they got to keep them busy in there. I don't know. Like, this would make so much more sense if every yellow tag was, like, $5. Or that could mean, or that could mean, he didn't quite explain it right, that's the month it came in on, so you know when it came in. So every month is a different color. Cause there's a and whole every month has a different them. price, too, then. Not necessarily. The price doesn't go down as the color changes. It's just a matter of how long it's been Well, there. if they've been holding onto the same thing for six months, they not want to get rid of it. Katie, the shit that's been in that store for, like, ten years. I know, like, we saw it. So I was laughing because I was listening to this other podcast. It's called, like, Thrifty Cast. It's really cool. You should, like, like them on Facebook and all that shit. They're really funny. But they were talking about, like, things you see in thrift stores. And they were talking about Yankee candles that have been, like, 75% burned. And we actually saw one. And it was, like, it literally oh, had, it, like... it wasn't even usable, though. It, it I know. It for about two it, minutes and be done. And I was like, why would someone donate this? And why would someone keep it in their store? Like, that's mm. just so... We were laughing, because, yeah. <coughs> Anyways, that was our haul. And I hope you guys liked this video. We were at 13 minutes. We are not at 20 minutes. Well, you were going on there, so I figured I'd reach that. By the way, can I make a suggestion? Yes. I'm going to make it on the air. <gasps> link any po other podcast you mention. At the end of it, you can add a link. So it'll be like, here's the video. And then the link will be down there. Yeah, you guys are seeing this. <laughs> and you can add those hy hyperlinks at the bottom so it'll take you to other people's podcasts and whatnot. See, I don't know how to do... It's a professional do... way to do that. It's in the settings where I don't do any of it myself. I just know you can. Nick handles all the production. Okay, I mean, hell, well, that's I'm not the very studio good is downstairs. at YouTube, so I definitely need help, and my lighting kind of sucks, but I also don't know how to do, like, links and stuff, blah, 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 but anyways, I will try to be better for She'll you guys, figure it out. and we'll figure it out together, but I hope you guys like this video, and check out his podcast, which is, I've told you four times, I don't remember, <sighs> Nobody listens. <laughs> um, and nobody listens to my podcast, for that matter, Weekend Water Cooler. Yes. Four guys just kind of talking about what you talk around a water cooler, except in a podcast, because we hang out every few weeks. Yes. It's good times, sports, news. And I I'm a geek, so I throw that stuff out there. 
This is why I'm best friends with him, because he's a geek and I'm a geek too. And if I throw out like Firefly references or any type of geeky reference, he gets it immediately. And I'm 